Welcome, everybody. It is Friday's 11 o'clock class. This is a level three class, which means we're going to push you just a little bit. We're going to start to do an arrangement on the instrument. We're not going to do hard arrangements. That's Monday and Wednesday classes. This is just how to do easy button pushing to, n to get to something that you would like without having to do a lot of conniptions and stuff like that. Because basically, what are we here to do? Get our fingers comfortable on the keys so we sound like we're playing a song. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's song is Sweet Caroline, and it's a, it's a fun one. Um, it is on page 91. Now, if you love the song, I highly recommend copying that first page and taping it here so that you have mm -hmm. a trifold. Because if you have to keep going back, you're not going to have much fun playing it, honest and truly. So that's just a tip so that you know how to just make your playing easier. All right, so this song was written and performed by, whoop, here comes Mr. Delaney, must let him in. Written and performed by Neil Diamond and released in May of 1969. The inspiration for Sweet Caroline, any idea? John F. Kennedy's daughter, Caroline. Aha, there's your trivia. She was 11 years old at the time. Ooh, that's a little dicey, huh? <laughs> In August of 1969, the song was certified gold. Sales of one million singles. Wow, yeah. Um, so what are we going to learn here? First and second endings and repeat dots. Ouch, we have several first and second endings. So you're going to need some colors. You are absolutely, what happened to my pink one? Lost my pink one, huh? All right. Don, yeah. Only, well, I only have it in book 15. Or that's, book. that's the only one? Yeah. For all the books I've got, that's, that's, how it, <laughs> that's all I got. Okay. Sorry. All right, Connie, you'll have to email me later and I'll make sure you get a copy. Okay, let's do the roadmap because this one is going to be a little tricky. When you have several sets of first and second endings and dots, you always want to stay within the dots. You don't want this set of dots to go all the way back over here. And then, you, you know, you just, you got to stay between the pertinent dots and follow the first and second endings in different sections. If you do it in colors, it will actually help because your eyes will see the colors before anything else. All right, so let's follow the lyrics because that's going to take us where we need to go. Where it began, I can't begin to know when, but then I know it's growing strong. There's your first ending, the third line. And then you have some dots, a thin line, make that a color. And where are you going back to? All the way back to the beginning. So you want to put your color right between the 4-4 four, four and that half rest because you're going all the way back to the beginning. Now you're going to pick up the second verse. Was it in spring and spring became the summer? Who'd have believed you'd come along? All right, so you want to put a little colorful two at the end of line two and then trace the two on line three, the second ending, and then if you want, you can even make an arrow. So that your second time, your eye is gonna go to that green two, going down to the green two here for the word long. It's a lot easier to follow the colors. All right, now you're going to a new section, hands, touching hands, reaching out. Next page, touching me, touching you. Here's the chorus. Sweet Caroline, good times never seem so good. I've been inclined to believe they never would, but now I, nothing's told you to go back yet, so you keep going forwards. When your dots are facing forward, you go forward. Look at the night, and it don't seem so lonely. We fill it up with only, aha, top of 93, we have another first ending. And at the end of that, you have dots again. So you want to use a different color than you used on the first page. And you are going to color in those dots 
Where is it going back to? The immediate dots that go backwards or that face forward. So now we want to just back up. Aha, it's right here. Page 92, line 4 in the middle. The dots are facing forward. So make those the same color. So now you go back from this one to this one. All right. Then you're going to do the second verse that's there. And when I hurt, hurtin' runs off my shoulder. How can I hurt when holding, ah, put a little colorful two, and trace the two up at the top of page 93 so you know second time. Right now I've got it in red, so I'm going from a red two to a red two. At the end of that second ending, oh boy, you have two thin lines. Oh, now where are we going? Different color. <laughs> Get out a different color. <laughs> and it's giving you some directions. Oop, here comes Miss iPhone. Don't know who that is, but we got to let him in. It says D S Al Coda. Go back to the silly sign. Where's the silly sign? All the way back to page 91, the first page, fourth line. So that way you're going to make this a color, a different color than you've used. Then you're going all the way back to the beginning of line four on that first page. There's your silly sign. Make that the same color so that your eyes go right away. Now what are we looking for? We're looking for the two coda. All right, codas only send you forwards. You never go backwards to a coda. So now we're going to go warm, touching warm. Reaching out, touching me, touching you. Sweet Caroline, good times never seem so good. I've been inclined to believe they never would, but now I. Those three words you can put in parentheses because the second time you're not going to use it. The second time, but now I, doesn't work. And right there is where your two coda is. So you want to make that another color. And where's the coda? Across the page. So you're going to jump from the line four, end of the second measure, over to line two on page 93. All right, we're not done yet. Done. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm confused. Okay. Um when we approach the two coda where uh -huh. it says would be now I uh -huh. and then you coda. Now you said something there, but I didn't quite comprehend it because there's no dialogue or, or Correct. words. Correct. The, the but so now what? I no. yeah. The no. but now I you're only gonna you're gonna play the notes. But you're, you're just going to put those w lyrics, put them in parentheses, because the second time you play it, it's just an instrumental. C, G, F, da, 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 but now I, da, 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 doesn't make sense. But the but now I is for the first time that you're playing that. The second time, you can just put the but now I, and it's not important because if you're not following the lyrics, doesn't make any difference anyway. You're just playing the notes. D, C, G, F, coda. D, E, F, D, E, F, V, D. Okay, you're just going to do that instrumental. Gotcha. Thank okay, you. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to confuse, confuse you with that, but the if you're reading lyrics, those lyrics do not pertain to the second time that you play it. All right, now let's keep um, going. Da, da, da. Yes, go ahead. Um, the, um, okay, now I, uh -huh. they don't ever finish that sentence? No, they don't, because it's they finish it the first time. But now I look at the night. See where that, oh, see where that's going? Okay. But yeah. now I look at the night. But see, it doesn't pertain to no. going to the coda. No, it So those not. lyrics only work the first time you play it. Okay. The second time okay. you play it, you still need to play the notes that are there, but the lyrics don't. But you're work. going to the instrumental. Okay. Correct. Da 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 okay. da da da. So they never da, did finish da, it uh, with the uh, instrumental. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then when you go to, <clears throat> excuse me, line four, 
mm -hmm. on the page 93. Now you have dots that face forward, okay? And you're going to play to the end. And when you get to the end, you have dots that face backwards. And it says repeat and fade. All right, remember, you always stay within the immediate dots. So if you back up, you're only going to back up a line and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, to that, to that line four. So you want to make those the same color so that you know that's where you're going, is in between those dots. So you're going to repeat the Sweet Caroline, good times never seem so good. You're going to keep repeating that and then fade it out. John? Yeah. Any particular reason they wouldn't, uh, you've got a uh, first ending, a second ending, why wouldn't they do a third ending and a fourth ending and a fifth ending? Mm -mm, because, because you're not going back to the beginning right. every time. You're only going back okay. to a specific section. They've got one section over here. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. For you, it's one, two, three. They've got one section here, and they've got in between the dots. So these dots send mm -hmm. you back to these dots. Then they have the second section over here. These dots do not send you back to the beginning, so it can't be a third ending. Okay. It's the second section, first ending of the second section. That's the difference. It's not the third ending because you're not going all the way back to the beginning. I understand. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. It's a second section with a first and second ending. Makes sense. I don't like it, but it makes I sense. I know. I hear you. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have to print 12 pages, and then you'd be doing one of these things. Right. Flinging pages. <laughs> I never realized that he stopped at now I and then the uh -huh. instrumental. Uh-huh. Yeah, but now I do the instrumental. So yeah. no, that's put just put those lyrics in parentheses. You're gonna use them the first time, but not the second time that you play it. Okay. I am going to play the song. If and then we're gonna talk about which rhythms to use. We're going to talk about chords. I'm going to add extra notes. So I want you to listen where I'm adding the extra notes, OK? And I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. So you, don't, you can just kind of go, aha, she's putting extra stuff in there. But it does help to make the song. Um, I am actually playing this on basic contempo. All right, I'm going to make sure everybody's muted. I'm going to play this on basic contempo. And if you've got it on, if you're in the bigger organs, there is a signature background for Sweet Caroline. Sweet Carolina is the name of it. And that's the one you should absolutely use. But I am going to use one bit called Basic Contempo, and I'm going to give you some more ideas at 125 beats a minute. And I am using Category Country, no, Category Big Band, I'm sorry, Category Big Band number four because I'm getting a guitar on top and a, a combination of, I think it's sax and flugelhorn on the bottom because you want some kind of, of a horn on the bottom. That's just the easiest way to make the arrangement. Contempo, 125, and instead of going to rhythm preset, I'm going to category, big band, number four and then i'm just using upper and lower you always want to find something that's going to be easy easy all right here we go
Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's just a fun, fun song. Now, any of that extra stuff that I put in is optional. It's completely optional, but it is part of the song that we all remember, and I think it's just, and it's not that hard to play because all you're doing is, is you're going to get some practice moving your hand from the upper keyboard to the lower keyboard. Now, what happens if you don't have an upper and a lower keyboard? You play the sa those notes on the same keyboard. For example, you would play something like... <laughs> You can play it on the same keyboard and it's going to sound absolutely fine. But for those of you who want that contrasting sound, then you just move your hand from the upper to the lower keyboard and it's actually pretty good practice to do that. All right, any questions? Did you get lost on the road map? A little bit? <laughs> you did okay? All right, if you follow the colors, if you use all different colors, you always stay within your, your dots. These dots do not send you all the way back to here. The only time you go all the way back is when you have to go from, the end, from uh, page 93 back to line 4 of page 91 to the silly sign. But if you've got, and if you've got it and in a three-page trifold so you don't have to be turning pages all the time, it's going to work a lot better for you as well. All right, let's talk about backgrounds. What kind of rhythms or music styles work well with this? Go to Song Setup. If you've got Sweet Carolina, that's the one. Just use it. It's good. Um, rock, full band, or 8-beat? Eh, I'm not crazy about that one, but it will work. It will work. It just doesn't have the, the oomph that some of the other backgrounds have. Standard, full band, or swing time? That's um, Frank and the Count. That will work. Country full band or standard pianist, all at 125, will work. I ha also have this on Gypsy Rag. Gypsy Rag, it's not quite the same feel. I, s I really like it on that Contempo, contempo um, Basic, which gives me that shuffle. And I love what happens with the fill-in on that that that's just really that just kind of builds some excitement when you use it so if you're using a lot of the fx or fill-ins watch which ones have what so that you can say aha i think i like this background better but this fill-in works better so then you need to go to that other background so those are part of your arrangements are using your fill-ins um, i also did it on um, now, Gypsy Rag is going to sound a little bit more like this, and I think I did Rhythm Preset Number 1, or Vintage Number 1, which gives me a guitar on top, and it's a clarinet on the bottom. But again, go to the easiest ones. Now, the other thing to do would be, if you like Gypsy Rag background, go again to Category Big Band Number 4, where you can get that guitar and the other horns on the bottom. So that would also be a good one. And I'm not going to play the whole thing. I think I'll just play the, uh, where does it start, Sweet Caroline. OK, page 92, second line. It's a little bit lighter type of a background. I'm not as crazy about it, but, you know, you might like it, so I'm giving you some suggestions. Basic country. You can never go wrong with a good basic country. So go ahead and use that, and if you're on rhythm preset zero, you have a country guitar and a harmonica on the bottom, and that works just fine. Or again, if you like the basic country background, you can go to your category big band number four to get the guitar and the horns on the bottom. Always want to keep it as easy as possible. So what does it sound like on basic country?
Now, the only thing I really didn't like with that one was the fill-in. That's really a country fill-in. <laughs> so in that case, if you love the background and you like your sounds, don't use the fill-in. Do something else. Do, do one of these or nothing. A fill-in can make or break your arrangement. So that's going to be your job is to find which music style works, works best for you. And that's why I also gave you some lines here so that you can write in your own. And don't be afraid to uh, try other things. Anything 4-4 that bounces is going to work on this. Absolutely. Absolutely. What kind of sounds? Organs, guitars, brass, um, for brass for the lower notes. Um, and basically that's all we're doing is putting in some echo stuff. And you're going to have to write those notes in. So I hope you kind of took notes as to where I'm going to be putting in the extra notes because I am going to be giving them to you. Let's take a look at chords first. Let's see. C, F, C, G, G7, C, G7. First page, no problems. Second page, F, G, G7, C, F, G7. Wow, pretty cool. C, F, and then we get to line four. You have a G, an F, and then you have a G chord, but you have two substitute chords, not in boxes, over the now I, over the G and the F. Does everybody see where I am? You have a G, and you can just play G if you want, or you can play the substitute chords, the E minor and the D minor. And if you're going to play one, play them both. Don't skip one, just don't use one or the other. So if you're going to play those, if I play it with the G, that measure is going to sound like this. G, F, G. And that's fine. If I do it with the E minor and the D minor, it's actually going to sound a little bit nicer. But if you can't get those in, just play the G. No worries. No worries. Let's keep going with chords. So far, pretty easy on chords, right? F, C, top of page 93, G, second ending, G7. And then you have the ending, the coda, G. You have a hidden G7. Remember, that's optional. C, F, and G. That's it. That's it. Chords are easy. Yay! Yeah. So Sweet Carolina is going to be something you can all play because chords are going to be super easy and fun on this one. All right, so what am I doing for extra notes? Let's write them in. All right, so we go back to page 91, first line, where it began. All right, so you're going to write in next to the G. You're going to write another G right next to it. Then you're going to write a high C on the second line above the staff. So you're going to put two little lines and put the C on that second line. Come back to the G. Now that's all in one measure. So the G that's printed, then you're going to have a G, a C, and a G. And in the next measure, right by where that F chord is, the first beat, you're going to go up to an A, which is the first line above the staff. And yeah, it's going to run kind of into your F chord. So you just kind of have to put it on the side and know what it is. Because the A is going to be on the first beat of that next measure. G, C, G, A. Okay. All right, let's move on. Go to page 92, the next page. Hello? Top line. Go on. Not questions? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, is the A replacing the F? No, the F is the chord. You have to play that chord. The A is with the right hand. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you still have to play that chord. It's just that that A is going to kind of run into that F because that's it's just there. It's in the way. <laughs> but you have to play the F chord. Good question. That's All right, top of, top of page 92. You've got F touching B. 
touching you. Okay, so at the end of the line, you have a measure with a white circle because you're still holding that D. You're not going to hold it. You're not going to hold it for the whole measure. You're going to play three notes, B on the third line, then put C on the third space, then put D on the fourth line. That's all in that last measure. And that E is going to be the E on the next line, and that's already written there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don, would you repeat that? Yes. The last measure at the top of page 92 where you have that white circle where you're still holding the D, you're not going to hold it for the whole, t the whole time. You're just going to hold it for like one count. And then you're going to write in three more notes. B on the third line, C chicken on the third space, and D dinosaur on the fourth line. So that whole line is going to sound like this. Those are lead-in notes get to get you to the chorus. B, C, D, E, G, A, A. Mm -hmm. oh. That's the way he sings it, too. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just don't get that. OK, let's try this. Yeah, I, <laughs> that last, that's all in that last measure, right? Yep. Now, I do have a check mark there. Ignore the check mark. It's I've got I've got B C oh, D. I got you. I'm on the wrong page. That's right. Oh well that could do it. <laughs> I got you. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. B C D E G A A. All right. And then measure two, right after we play the, the A whole note, which you're not going to hold as a whole note, you're going to go in that same measure, F, E, and then the first beat of the next measure where that half rest is, is going to be an A. So it's second measure, like the third beat, is going to be F on the top line, E elephant on the top space, and the first beat of the next measure where that half rest is, A on that second space. F, E, A. That's where you're going to bounce to the lower keyboard. So you might want to put an L on the top of those three notes. Whoops, I can, you got to play them right, too. <laughs> helps if you play the right notes. <laughs> then you're going to put a U over the A quarter note for good times. So you're going to go right back up to the upper keyboard for good times. Third line, first measure, where you have that white whole note that you're hanging on to. You're not going to hold on to it for four counts. You're only going to hold on to it for like one count. Then you're going to write those three lead-in notes again. B, C, D. B, hey. butterfly on the third line. C, chicken on the third space. D, dinosaur on the fourth line, leading up to that E. Yeah. measure, inclined. You're not going to hold that inclined for that whole note. You're going to hold it for half a two counts or maybe even one note. Then you're going to put a big L and you're going to go to the lower keyboard, but you're going to write right there F on the top line, E on the top space, and the first beat of the next measure where that half rest is A on the second space. You want to put an L over those three notes 
So you know to go to lower keyboard. It doesn't mean loser. It means lower. <laughs> and then over the A for the word two, put a U so that you know to go back to the upper keyboard. Okay, now we're on line four. If you want, you can add a duet where those dots are facing forward so that you play Look at the Night on duet. Oh, the duet's there, okay. Uh-huh, I would add a duet right there and then okay. just play it for the rest of the song. Okay. Just to build a little bit of an arrangement or not, you don't have to do it. So we're gonna play Look, Look at the Night and the G night, that last measure of line four, you're not going to hold it for the whole four beats. You're only going to hold it for one count. And you're going to write in the same notes that we wrote in on the first page. Right next to the G, you're going to put a G. Then on the second line above the staff, you're going to put a high C. And then on that first space above the staff, you're going to put a G. G, C, G. And on line five, first beat, you're going to put an A on the first line above the staff. And remember, that F chord, you have to play the F chord with the left hand, so don't let that confuse you. You've got to play that A note the same time you're playing your F chord. And you can play it in the same keyboard, or you can go to the lower keyboard, whichever's easiest for you, and whichever one you think sounds the best. practice then to go from lower keyboard to higher keyboard but you got to look you got to see where your hands are actually falling and that's the trick to look without losing your spot mm -hmm. if it's easier to just stay on the same keyboard go ahead and do that because that sounds fine too mm -hmm. right, let's, yeah okay uh, could you repeat that that last measure there? Not the last one, but on the uh, fourth line there, that measure, you got the G, and then you said a G, and then a C. G, and then C, G. G, C, G. And then your A goes in the next line, first beat. Okay. G, C, G, A. And, and is that on the lower, did you say? You can put that on the lower or you can leave it on the upper, whichever one's easiest, because that's real fast. Yeah. Or play it all on the upper. Whichever one you like the best and whichever one's going to be the easiest. Then Thank we you. switch to the upper keyboard on the word and. Yes. Okay. Yes. Go back to the upper keyboard. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Don? Yeah. Any chance you can put all those changes uh, when you send the, to, vit, to, Patri to Patreon? Um, no, because they don't allow me to put okay. entire songs. Fine. Thank you. Yep. If you if you need me to scan it to you, do do send me an email. Okay. So I can personally scan it to you, but I don't think they I don't I don't know about how the copywriting laws work. You're only allowed to put so many measures or so many pages of stuff yep. on Patreon. So I'm not sure how Robert gets away with it. I think he might do it on his desktop or something where he does the whole thing by hand. But see, I'm actually using a Hal Leonard song you know that's already printed so i don't think i'm allowed to put all my changes and then just throw it on patreon a lot of times he puts in for educational purposes only yep i know that's a that's a huge part of it yep, yep. thank you yep okay the only other thing we're going to do is something we already did and it's in that the last two sets of dots sweet caroline good times never seem so good repeat and fade right at the end Okay, line four on that page. Sweet Caroline. That's what we're going to do. So you're going to put F 
We're on, we're on line four, last measure. The A is going to be good for one or two counts, and then you're going to get off of it. And then you're going to put F on the top line, E elephant on the top space, and in the next line, first measure, you're going to put A on the second space. So that's going to be your L lower, or if you can't do it on the lower, leave it where it is. F, E, A, and then put a U over good times. The last measure of the song, where you have that whited in whole note, you're not going to hold it for the whole time, you're only going to hold it for one count. Then you're going to put in again the B, C, D, B on the third line, C, chicken on the third space, and D dinosaur on the fourth line. So there's not a, it's, it's repetition. You're, you're doing that one a couple times, you're doing this one a couple times, and you're doing this one a couple times. So it's the same three little riffs that we're repeating over and over again. So if one of your letters gets off and you go, wait a minute, that's the same as what it should be over here, go back and double check and maybe, maybe you made a mistake in one of the spots. Would you repeat that last line thing? Yes. Yes, the last measure of the song. Your whited in half, your whited in whole note is only gonna get held for one count. And you're gonna put in three more notes. B on the middle line, B butterfly. C chicken on the third space and D dinosaur on the fourth line. Because that's going to lead in back to your sweet Caroline. So those last in those last measures it's going to sound like this. Here we go. Hit your fade out whenever you're ready. So there's a couple of little tricks with this one. The, the road map is probably the hardest thing. The extra notes are just a bonus. That's just, that just makes it fun. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Oh, okay, we're good. The only thing we have left to do is put fingering in. Do you need me to play it one more time so you can follow it? Make sure you got all the right notes in. Yes? No? Yes. I see a lot of heads going yes. Okay. I'm going to play it on that basic contempo just because I really like that background. Because I don't have the original on this one. All right. Back at the beginning. Oh, take the duet off. <laughs>
Okay, did you follow now? Now that we've done it, now that we've got the notes in there, yep, makes more sense now. Yeah, good. This is so much fun to play. The hardest part is going from your upper keyboard to your lower keyboard because you have to look to make sure your hand gets in the right spot and you don't want to lose your spot here. So you want to make sure you know where you're aiming to. You want to make sure you know which finger is going to which note and where it is. That's the trick. If you can't do it that fast, then make sure you play all those extra notes on your upper keyboard because it'll be easier because you don't have to be moving your hand back and forth. It'll be easier to find the notes quicker. And that's perffectly acceptable too. No, it's, it's your song. Make of it what you want. It's just so much fun to play. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, it's a really good one. Okay, stick around for fingering. Um, next week we will do. All right, now we did we've gone through this before. Star Wars. Are we gonna skip Star Wars? Are we gonna do Star Wars? Skip David it. Was, David's gonna say do it. Skip say it. Do it. Do yeah. it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. You, know, you guys don't want to do it? No. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, of course we do. Joanne's just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'd like to do Not. it. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I know. Oh. Joanne, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, we didn't do it yesterday. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got lots hey. to do there. You got to have it marked up in the book at least. Yeah, it's it's marked up a little bit. There's not a lot different here, but it's it's fun to play too. And we'll take a look at some sounds. We'll get some cool sounds, and and I'm gonna add a couple of chords. Nothing nothing major. And okay, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Star Wars. Fun. Star Wars. Yeah, it'll be fun. Even if you hate the movie, because some you either love or hate the science. Just something to play with. Huh? Just something to play with. Yeah, exactly. Yep, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to play. And if you don't it. like it, guess I'll what? It. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad against all the women here. That's not right. No. <laughs> if you don't like it, you might learn where something is on your instrument right. because I always try to help you out with like use a category preset or where to find some things. Right. And keep it April. We're starting to make arrangements on our instrument. If, and if you don't like Star Wars, you can go back and play Sweet Caroline. How, how about that? Right. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Done. Right. Done. Very cool. Are there any questions? No, I don't have a question. I just want to let you know that uh, this, I knew I had played this before. It's in my songbook for uh, marquee rhythm styles. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm hmm. That oh, makes yeah. sense because you've got the original signature right. background. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. <laughs> yep. Okay. So if you need fingering, stick around. If not, go to the beach. Have a wonderful day. Go play your organ. Go have a good time. <laughs> For fingering, let's. Uh, there's several different ways. There really, you really can't go wrong no matter what finger you use. I'm going to be real honest with you. I've done this three or four different ways, and they all work. So it's, I'm going to give you one way to finger it, and then you can do whatever you want because it really is whichever finger plops there first. It's more important to just find the right keys. Here we go. E1, F2, G3, G3. Then the notes we wrote in. G2, C5, G2, A3. I can't begin is D1, E2, F3, 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 E2, D1, check mark. That means we are going to a different hand position. C3, D4, E5, 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 D4, C3, first ending G. One, second ending D4. Bottom line, G1, A2, 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 B3, B3, B3. Turn the page. C4, 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 D5, D5. 
your BCD that we wrote in, B2, C3, D4, next line, E5, G1, A2, A2, the extra notes are F5, E4, A1. Good times, A1, F5, F5, E4, D3, C2, G1. The extra notes are B2, C3, D4. The E is a 5, G1, A2, A2. The high F that we wrote in is a 5, E4, A1. To believe, A1, F5, F5, E4, D3, C2, D3, C2, G1, F2 with a circle. That's a crossover. All right, let's keep going. E1, F2, G3, G3. The notes that we wrote in, G2, C5, G2. Next line, the A that we wrote in is a 3. And it don't seem so lonely. D1, E2, F3, 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 E2, D1. Check mark. Lift your hand and reposition it. C3, D4. E5, 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 D4, C3. Top of the next page. First ending, G1. Second ending, D4. The coda. D1, E2, F3. D1, E2, F3. E2, D1. F3, E2, D1. F2, G3, A4. F2, G3, A4, G3, F2. A4, G3, F2, A1. Circle it, that's a thumb tuck. B2, C3, A1, B2, C3. B2, next line, E5, D4, E5, G1, A2, A2, the notes that we wrote in, F5, E4, A1. Good times, A1, F5, F5, E4, D3, C2, G1, the notes that we wrote in, B2, C3, D4. Questions? Yes. I think I, think I missed a note on page 92. Uh-huh. Uh, line three, first measure. Okay. The, uh, the notes. Line three, first measure. You have three notes. Okay. B, B butterfly in the middle line. C, chicken on the third space, and D, dinosaur on the fourth line. B, C, D. Okay, and the fingering? And the fingering is two, three, four. B, two, C, three, okay. D, four. Okay, okay, then the E is five, okay. Then the E is five, yes. Don, what was that again? You want me to repeat that? Okay. Yeah, please. Okay. Page 92, third line. First measure. You're not going to hold that white, that whited in whole note except for one count. Then you're going to add three more notes. B butterfly on the third line, C chicken on the third space, and D dinosaur on the fourth line. Your fingering is B2, C3, D4, and then the E in the next measure is the 5. Don, thank you. Yeah. 
Line number four. Can you uh, repeat the last page, uh, the fourth line and the last measure? Okay, line four, last measure. At the end of the measure, you're going to have a F on the top line, F fish, E elephant on the top space, and then the first measure on the last line is an A on the second space. F E A. Five four one. Okay, one question for you, Thank Don. You. Okay, David, go ahead. Okay, uh, two sections or two two spots in the sun. On page 94, fourth line, uh, just after you start your inning, you've got E, F, G, one, two, three, and then you do a G, but you drop down to a two? Um, no, I'm not sure where you are. Page 94, you said? It's Fourth, a, no. no, 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 line, uh, page 92. 992, okay. Line four. Line four. Okay, last measure. Uh-huh. Uh, the note before that, you have a G3. Correct. And another G, which is a three, and then a G2? Nope. I've got a G2, C5, G2. The notes that we wrote in are 252. Two. Yes, the first G is a three. Okay. And then you're going to switch fingers because you're, if you're, especially if you're going to the lower keyboard. Gotcha. Uh -huh. two, five, two, five, two, three. Now I understand. Thank you. Ah, okay. All right. And if you're if you're on the same keyboard, you could have left a third on the G. It's just harder to get up to that high C. Switch fingers. It's easier to play it. Okay. Anybody else have questions? This is a fun song. This is really a fun song. You're going to love it. And if you don't, if you're one of the few that doesn't like this song, it's okay. Don't play it. Go back and play something you love. Hopefully you learned one thing today. Hopefully you learned something about a category preset, one button push, add a duet, and roadmaps. Roadmaps was very important in this one. Okay. Next week, don't not come because of Star Wars. Don't not come because you can still learn something. <laughs> you guys are fun. You guys are awesome. And I can't do it without you. I thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.